All right, guys, I'm getting ready to do um, some geode resin art. So I'm going to start with a piece of plywood. Got just a bag under that to keep the pavement clean from spilling paint or resin. And initially, I'm just going to paint it with some acrylic paints, and then we'll cover it with some resin later. So I just threw some acrylic paint on there. Just going to kind of mix it around. Did some white, green, blue, and black. Alright guys, so I'm just uh, preparing the pigment powder colors that I want. So I'm doing a lot of kind of dark green and blues on this. And I just put a couple spoonfuls in a cup. It's not a really particular amount. It seemed like that gives a nice deep color. And then I'll just fill the resin up to, I don't know, one third of the cup, something like that. And uh, yeah, I got some blues, a little bit of a, like a violet color, and I'm going to do some pearl white, probably more for the center. And then I also have a couple of glowing pigment powders that I might mix in the, the lighter color, like maybe this lighter green. See if we can get uh, a little bit of a glow at night. Alright, so I'm going to get ready to mix my resin. So this is the epoxy, this is the epoxy hardener, and you'll do one-to-one -one ratio mixing. All right, so I just uh, poured my resin into each of the cups, and now I need to start mixing them up. Okay, I have all my colors mixed up. Time to start pouring.
So you just kind of go quickly over the surface. It brings the air bubbles out of the resin. The longer you stay on the resin, the more effects it'll bring out. I don't think you want to go too long or it might, I don't know, I haven't tried going too long. I don't know actually what happens, but it'll probably change the look of it, I guess. So this just helps get you a nice flat, I mean a nice perfectly smooth surface with a nice glossy look. And then I will do, once this dries, probably for 24 hours, you can see right here kind of a scaling look I think that the heat gun brings out. Yeah, I will go with a clear coat of resin over the top of this just for a nice clear shine once this one dries. All right guys, so I just carried it, or set a piece of plywood down here on the ground and set this on top just so it wouldn't stick to the paper bag on the floor. And letting it dry now. This way it can kind of drip off the edge. I also just got a brush and kind of brush the resin around the outside edge in case I decide to keep the whole thing square. It'll have a nice smooth surface on the outside as well. All right guys, um, I set it outside for a while and I think the ground surface was pretty unlevel and so you can kind of see that the colors kind of slid to one side and doesn't look quite as good now. Um, I didn't think of that when I placed it out there, but it still looks pretty good. And so I'm, it's getting kind of tacky and dry, so I'm going to go ahead and put some gold leaf on here in a couple places, and then after it dries for about 24 hours, I will do a clear coat over the top. So a little bit of gold leaf left over from, from last the last table I did. This is the kit I bought, and it has like a, you know several sheets in there. Twenty-five, I guess twenty-five sheets of this. But I don't use a whole lot. So I just use kind of grab some of the paintbrush and just stick it on some places. All right, so yeah, once it's pretty kind of dry and tacky, you just uh, grab a little bit with the paintbrush. It sticks on, and just kind of rub it on there. And it sticks pretty good. So I'm just kind of placing some of this over the more black areas. And then we are gonna do a clear coat on top of this so it'll seal it in nice and smooth. We'll do a nice thick layer so it'll have a flat surface on top of the gold leaf here. And just try to lay it down pretty flat so that it won't stick up past the clear coat once we lay it down. All right, guys, so I ended up just waiting, I guess it's been a couple hours since I'm doing the first layer, and it's already quite hard, so I don't see there being an issue with doing the clear coat right now. I don't think it'll mess up any of the colors or anything. I did go with kind of a white uh, paint marker and just draw some white lines on there and signed it. So I'm just mixing up a batch of clear coat. I won't add any any pigment or glitter to this, just the clear coat. And uh, 
And then that'll seal in our gold leaf and give us a nice clear shine.